Fact. Eddie Van Halen played out of tune a lot. Next on Music Surgery with Dr. Bob. Ever wonder why you tune your guitar on a tuner and play with older Van Halen records and something sounds wrong? That's because although Eddie is in tune with himself and flattened his B string to make the thirds and chords ring out in tune, Eddie is out of tune. Now, this isn't about right or wrong, just fact. And, uh, and I don't think he, he didn't tune with a tuner, he just used his ear, so there was an advantage there. You know, so there was a tuning there that was different than anything else. My buddy Phil X brought this up in a recent Instagram video, and he did a great little short one-minute lesson on it. And he's absolutely right. Eddie used to tune the guitar to itself sometimes. As a matter of fact, Van Halen 1 and 2, many of the songs you'll notice don't really work like in tune with a tuner. Like you'll tune to the tuner and then the song sounds sharp. That's because he just used to tune the guitar to itself and then have the bass, you know, mic tuned to him, and then they'd cut a track. Many times. So it's not like very speed or anything like that. He always talked about that. He's like, what's the point? Just tune to yourself. He said it in interviews. Um, so anyways, one thing that he used to do is on certain songs, he would tune to what sounded good, not necessarily to what was technically in tune or would look in tune on a tuner. Now, here's Eddie himself from a 1980 guitar player interview talking about tuning in the studio. When we go in the studio, man, I don't strobe tune or anything. I just pick the guitar up, and if it's in tune, I say, Mike, tune to me, and we play. Why does it have to be the same? Who says it has to be tuned to E? Why the rules? F the rules. I mean, the main reason I get all the weird stuff I do on guitar is because I don't do it by the rules. Okay, so let's listen to this tuning discrepancy. On one side is a guitar tuned to A440, which is the standard tuning reference on almost every song you've ever heard. Simultaneously, on the other side is Eddie's guitar on Running With The Devil and then Dance The Night Away. Let's go to science itself and take a look just how out of tune he was. Okay, here's another interesting experiment on Eddie's tuning. I've tuned the guitar to Running With The Devil, and let's look at it on this tuner in Amplitude, which is a great tuner, very exact, precise, and it's tuned to 440, which... Almost every song you've ever heard, every tuner you've ever <laughs> tuned up to is tuned and calibrated to. So let's look at this. So it's about 20 to 23 cents sharp. So, obviously, if he had tuned to a tuner, it would be perfect right here in the center. So he is not tuned to E, and he is not tuned a half step down like most people claim. He's somewhere in the middle. So, now what we've done is we've taken that tuning to see what other songs on the first record that that specific tuning applied to and made that tuning in tune with these songs. Here are the songs on Van Halen 1. And the, the songs in red did not match up with this tuning. Eruption didn't. You Really Got Me was close. None of them were exact. They were all off a bit from each other. Atomic Punk did not line up with the Running with the Devil tuning. I'm the One was close. Jamie's Crying did not line up with Running With The Devil tuning. 
feel your love tonight was close. Ice Cream Man did not. Little Dreamer was close. On Fire did not. And Ain't Talking About Love was close. So just on the first record alone, this being the Running With The Devil tuning that we just showed on the tuner that was about 20 to 23 cents off, um, was close on the songs in yellow and not close on the songs in red. Now, we skipped all over the Van Halen catalog a little bit to see what else that the Running With The Devil tuner was close to. Dance in the streets, no. Everybody wants some, no. I'll wait, no. And the cradle will rock, no. Jump, no. Love walks in, no. Summer nights, no. Unchained, no. When it's love, no. Pound cake, no. And oddly enough, Panama was the closest one out of all of these songs that we kind of cherry-picked from different Van Halen records with Dave and even a few with Sammy. So, all this to show, it really does look like whatever he was tuning to in the moment, his hand on the guitar, playing the riff of that song in such set sound with the way the air conditioning was in the room and the key the song was in and how it felt and sounded through his amp, there's not a lot of consistency between Running With The Devil and other songs on this record and songs later in his career. Many people have argued that perhaps the 24-track tape machines were not aligned properly, had wow and flutter, and that's why the tuning is off. Well, they recorded the early records at Sunset Sound in Los Angeles, which at the time was and still is one of the most cutting-edge studios around. So it's nonsense to think that their tape machines were faulty and Van Halen's engineer Don Landy was clueless to the problem. What about the other records that were recorded there around the same time that are very much in tune, such as the Doobie Brothers Minute by Minute album, engineered and produced by the exact same personnel that did Van Halen's records, Don Landy and Ted Templeman. The very speed and mastering argument doesn't hold up either, because if it were true, Alex's drums would have sounded ever so slightly different from song to song, but the pitch is virtually identical track to track on the first album and other albums. Very speed in the mastering stage also would have messed with Eddie's tone, and if there's anything that he would have argued against, it would have been that. Tone was king his entire life. We all know that. Play one of those and I'll strangle you. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> right. Think about this too. Do you really think Van Halen couldn't get the tempos right for these songs in the studio after literally playing them for months or years live before making their first record, making it mandatory to adjust the tempos up or down and mastering to make it right for the record? Come on. Hey you guys, this is the part where we beg for money. Please put the right script up there, Sumner. This is not funny. Hey guys, please take time to subscribe and ring the bell below to notify you of new surgeries. Also take a look around in my store for some great cheap and free stuff. And one last thing, the doctor's lounge is open and in full swing. Come on, join us, get some amazing samples, stems, or one-on-one -on -one mix, production, or music advice. This is a really cool and super affordable thing, so check it out and see if it's for you. All the links are below in the description of this video. Thanks a lot. Well, I certainly think all this evidence just goes to show you that Eddie was unique in every way and wasn't bound to conventional tunings. Something in his soul just knew exactly where the guitar sounded best for every song. Yet another nugget we can all learn from a genius, master, and innovator. <laughs> Well, that does it for another week. A special thanks to Mark Oakley for his help on guitar. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you the next time the doctor's in. Play us out, Mark.